Good morning everyone. Please sit down. Please sit down and be quiet. We are about to begin. Okay, sit down please. Every one of you. Every one of you I said. Alright. Let's see. Be quiet, please. Shh. Quiet. Shh. 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 Adams, Laura. Okay. Belle, Brian. Oh, what happened to him? No, his mother hasn't called me to tell me that he's sick. Burst Ingrid, present. Clark Diana, present. Douglas Jane, present. Elliot Mary, present. All right, now it's time to check our homework. And let's see. You have to fill in with A or an. Let's see. Laura Adams. Okay, so this is on. Apple. Very well, Laura. Very, very well, Laura. Come in. A good morning, young man. What happened, Brian? You missed the bus. Oh, okay, okay, go to your place and it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I understand. I so, Ryan is present today. All right, Ingrid, the next one. So, this is a car, of course, very well. Next, for orange, what shall we write down, Diana? An orange. Ah, an orange. Very well. John, a cat. Yes. Yes. All right. Zoe. Zoe is. I should call her mother. There is something wrong with her. She keeps on falling asleep during classes. I should call the nurse. Sarah Morris? An elephant, yes. Next, John Fisher. An egg, yes, perfect. And Jane Douglas, an insect. And who can explain why we used... Oh, I missed one, sorry, children. Mary, an... Okay, very, very well, an elephant. So we have an apple, please correct your mistakes. Or check your homework in your... Um, notebooks, please. An apple, a car, an orange, a cat, an elephant, and why? So this is a flower. Yes, my bad, my mistake, children. I 
missed the line here. Yes. I got distracted and I um, I missed one line. An egg, an insect. So let's go again. An apple. Let's read together. Repeat after me, please. An apple. Yes. A car. An orange. A cat. An elephant. A flower. An egg. An insect. All right, please correct your homework. And now how can you explain me the difference between a, an, and a? All right, so when, an, um, when a word begins with a vowel, we use an. And when the word begins with a consonant, we use a. Very well, so this is our rule. Let's wipe the blank part because today we are going to study something very, very nice. We are going to talk about communication by means of So, my dears, when I want to communicate something to you as my students, what do I mainly use? Hmm? Can you tell me? Of course, I use words, I use language. When I want to tell you something very important or a rule or something, I use language. Language and words. So, a first way or the most important way of communicating, it is language. But when I don't want to speak and I am angry and I do something like what? what do I use? Yes, I use gestures. When I am very happy and I see that it is a sunny, sunny day and I wear a bright yellow dress do I send any messages to the others? All right, very well, Diana. I use colors and the way of I dress myself in order to send a message. Okay, so today we're going to talk about call me me -cation. Communication by means of, and we have language. We have words, of course, yes, words, gestures. And when I want to tell someone that I am happy, for example, and I send this. Hmm? This. Do I use words? No. I use signs and symbols to send a message. Symbols. You know that people a very, very long time ago used this sign and 
symbols to communicate. Yes, very well, Sarah. When they couldn't write, yes. Okay, so. Now, I want Jane and Diana to come in front of the classroom. Now that you two are very good friends, I know that you are very good friends, so I want you to, uh, Diana, please tell your friend something that you want to tell her for a while, something that you like about her, for example. Okay, I like your earrings very much. Now, children, which, who, who is the one who talks? Who is the one who talks? Of course, Diana. You see, children, the person that talks and sends the message, it is called the sender. Sender. In our case, it is Diana, who says to Jane, I like your earrings. Who is the person who receives these words, the message sent by Diane. Jane. Okay, very well. The person that receives the message is called a receiver. Receiver. And we have the message. And the channel. And sometimes, when there are problems with the channel, this message sent by our sender doesn't get as it should be to the receiver. Can be can be received. In a wrong way. And now I have written for you. Yes, Zoe is sleeping after the class. I will call her mother and tell her that is something wrong with her to come and take her to the nurse. Yes, I definitely need to talk to her mother. Now, my dear one, I have written for you a story which is called the story of a message and you are going to be quiet. Yes, and you will need to be listening very carefully because I will ask you questions from the story and you have to tell me who is in this case, who is the sender or senders, who is the receiver and which is the message. Alright, it is a beautiful story that I have imagined before you and I have to change my glasses in order to raise the story properly. Yes, of course. Let's change the glasses. Very well. And let's start. The story of a message. 
We have a storyteller, part one. Spring came early this year like a gift from above. There are scents in the air. Yes, Diana, yes, and the author. Okay, I have written this especially for you. Thank you. I'll be glad if you will be listening. Where was I? There are scents in the air and nature beats like a huge heart. There are snowballs in the garden and the children are flying kites in the sky, running and laughing and singing. But this year a kite is missing and it used to be the most beautiful one. It is lying in a drawer covered by dust and may be forgotten. Its master, a boy with clear blue eyes, cannot fly it this year. He is sick and everyone around him is sad. The garden is empty and the house is grey and even too small for so much sufferance. An old and severe man comes every day and tries to fight against the modern and unknown virus which conquered the boy's fragile body. But his science is useless and he cannot find a cure. The window of his room used to be wide open last year, but now it is closed and covered by thick curtains. There is a lawn in front of the window and a little lilac is spreading its perfume around. And the lilac tree says, I bloomed earlier this year just for him. My perfume is stronger but the window is still closed. I tried to send a friend inside the house, a golden bee. But she did not succeed to enter. I miss him so much. He used to water me every evening and he was so grateful for my flowers. Last year, when he saw my first flowers, he took a branch in his little hand and stroked it with tears of happiness in the eyes. The honeybee says, I made the honey sweet this year. I went farther than usual to gather different flavors, but nobody came to collect the honey and our hive is too full of it. We missed him. He used to come every day to watch us working. He talked to us, he told us stories. Look, the russet squirrel. The russet squirrel, do you have any news? The lilac tree says, no, but maybe no news is good news. I miss him too. He used to offer me something good to eat every day. It wasn't about the food. It was the joy in his eyes when he gave me the nuts or the bread. It was his laughter, his voice. I have a good friend to play with and I learned how it felt to be loved by someone for what you really are. But where is Marty? Oh, he's waiting at the door again. Stop scratching the door. Nobody will answer. Smarty the dog says, I know, but I can't help myself. I miss him so much. His mother feeds me every morning, but she has always tears in her eyes. I miss my best friend. What can we all do? The lilac tree. I know. Let's send a message to God and beg him to cure our friend. I'll send my perfume high up in the sky. And I'll try to fly as high as I can, says the golden, says the golden bee. The Russet Squirrel. I will ask my friend the Oak Tree to send a leaf. 
smart little dog. I will say a prayer. Listen, everyone. What's that? Who are you? I'm his guardian angel. Haven't you known that every child is protected? Why are you looking for God so high up in the sky? When he is so close, he is inside of you, in every part of you. You carry inside yourselves a drop of his sacred light, and you are able to love as much as him. Love is the answer, and you had the power to do what the most expensive medicine couldn't. So next time, when you need God, just look inside yourself. The storyteller again. The little boy can fly his kite again now. He discovered once again that love is the best cure and his only wish is to make the world a better place and this to become the goal of the whole humanity. He still talks to clouds and birds and insects so he decided to use the things and animals around him to send his message to the world. Okay, everyone. Who can tell me? Who is the sender in this little story? Alright, saved by the bell. This will be your homework for your next time. You will have to think about this communication scheme and tell me next time who is the sender, who is the receiver and what is the message about. I hope you enjoyed my little story. I have just written for you and see you tomorrow. You are free to leave. Zoe is still sleeping. No problem, children. I am just about to call her mother and see what is it. Goodbye, everyone. See you tomorrow.